Welcome to Hutchinson Community College. My name is Brooke. And I'm Zach. And we're ambassadors here at Hutch CC. Thank you for taking the time to go on a tour with us. Let's go. This is the Parker Student Union. This is one of the busiest buildings on campus because it houses offices like admissions, records, financial aid, and the business office. It also has the Student Success Center, which offers advising and enrollment services, as well as free personal and career counseling. This is our brand new cafeteria, and students here couldn't be more excited about it. Students living on campus get an all-access meal plan that allows them to come in and eat anytime between 7 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. during the week. We have a wide variety of food options, including all-you-can-eat pizza, and my personal favorite, the coffee bar. This is the lower level of the union. Right here we have the campus bookstore where you can get your textbooks, school supplies, and awesome blue dragon gear. We also have classrooms and study hangout spots. This is a newly renovated part of our student union. We now have a room for our eSports team, a lounge for our honors student council, and lots of room to hang out with your friends. As well, do you like ping pong? Ping pong is one of our biggest clubs on campus. I would recommend that everybody gets involved because it is the best way to make new friends and put yourself out there. Lockman is the oldest building on campus. When the college was first founded, Lockman housed all of the departments. Currently, students take classes in general studies as well as a wide variety of other classes. Not only does Lockman Hall house a wide variety of different classrooms, it also houses the endowment and president's office. We also have the online education center where students are able to take online classes. Online classes are a major part of Hutch CC with students being able to take them both on and off campus. And if you look here, we are home of the Blue Dragons. And Duke the Blue Dragon here has taken quite a change over the years. If you're a student here at Hutch CC, this is the building you'll want to be familiar with. This is Rimmer Learning Center. There are a variety of different resources available to students here, including a computer lab that stretches from wall to wall, free printing, free tutoring services, as well as tech support where people can come with any problems with their laptops. The cool thing about Rimmer is it's open till 1 a.m. five days a week. The lower portion of Rimmer Learning Center is the JFK Library. Students can check out material free with their student ID, get help with research, or just have a nice quiet place to study and relax. Welcome to our Richard E. Smith Science Center. This is home to our science and most of our math classes. One of the great things about this department is it provides free tutoring. This semester, I'm actually one of the tutors and I enjoy helping my fellow students. As well, I think chemistry is my favorite subject to go over. As you can see, this is one of our math classrooms. It's not too big and you get plenty of time with your teachers and a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. This is one of our lecture halls in the Science Center. This room holds about 48 students and is typically used for general biology and chemistry. Even though it has 48 students that can be in here, it is not overwhelming and you still get plenty of teacher time. We have about 2,500 students on campus. However, my class size is usually between 10 and 20 students. Over here is our campus pond. This is one of my favorite spots on campus because it is great to stop at and relax between classes and also study. Over here is Gowan Stadium. Gowan Stadium is home to our football and track team. I would encourage you to get out and watch them play because it's a great way to just have a good time. As well, games are free. Whether you're an artist, performer, or patron of the arts, this is the building to be in. This is the Stringer Fine Arts Building, home of our art and humanities departments. There are a variety of activities that students can get involved in, including vocal music, orchestra, band, art, and theater. And the cool thing about it is you don't have to major in these programs in order to get scholarships. Let's go check out the recital hall. I would encourage everyone to come check out the fine arts events that happen here in the recital hall. We are fortunate to see many students take the stage, including world-renowned jazz performers, theater performers, and the best thing about it is that students get in free with their student ID. 
Welcome to the Hutchinson Sports Arena. This is home to volleyball, basketball, and spirit squad. In addition, we have most of the coaches offices as well as sports medicine. The great thing is just like football, if you bring your student ID in, you can watch free basketball and volleyball games. We have such a strong athletic tradition here. In addition to watching the Blue Dragons play, we have up to three national athletic events on campus. As well, we also have the Dillon Lecture Series. The Dillon Lecture Series is when speakers come in and they give an out-of-classroom experience. We have three to four speakers that come in every year for students and community members. Previously, we have had astronauts, politicians, actors, and sports figures. We're here in Shears Technology Center. Shears is home to many technical and computer programs, as well as our student publications. Did you know that Hutch CC offers 75 plans of studies in transfer and technical programs? If you'd like to learn more, go to hutchcc.edu slash studies. Interested in living here on campus? We have two residence halls here, Kent and Ellen Hall. We have over 500 students living in the residence halls, and the best part about it is that main campus is only a block away, so you don't have to worry about finding a parking spot. If you're interested in living on campus, there are two styles of rooms to choose from. You have traditional style and suite style. Traditional style have two people living in the same room with a community bathroom on the hallway. Whereas the suite style has two people living in one room and two people living in another room and it's connected with one private bathroom. Our third housing options, typically for second year students, is our Dragon's Landing. This is apartment style living that includes a kitchenette, dining room, living room, one bathroom, and two bedrooms. This typically holds three to four residents. If you choose to live on campus, it's a great way to meet new people and be part of a community. There are so many activities and social connections that you will make. Zach and I have both lived on campus and we wouldn't have it any other way. It's just been a great experience. Thank you so much for joining us on a campus tour today. Don't hesitate to contact admissions if you have any questions or want to learn more about the college. We wish you guys the very best and we hope to see you on campus in the near future. We're off to class. <laughs>